today's video. So I have done a couple meal planning videos in the past and I usually plan my meals monthly, but with everything going on right now and all the limited quantities in the grocery stores, grocery prices going up, it's a lot easier for me to actually plan my meals in two week chunks rather than the whole entire month. Now I might have an idea of what I'm doing for the whole month, but actually doing the grocery shopping and everything is so much easier to do every two weeks because I feel like I do make a lot when I cook and I tend to have a nice freezer storage built up so that the second half of the month I don't really have to plan as many meals at all or if I do it's it's stuff that is really easy to pull together. I also really like doing it this way because I like to do the bulk of my grocery shopping at the beginning of the month and then see what I have left over and plan some meals around that for the second half of the month. So I'm just going to take you through the process. I have these three pages that I created to kind of help and I will link it below so that you guys can download it for free if you want to. But this is the way that I do it. This has the meal plan, a grocery list and also a prep list that you could like check off what you want to prep for the week because I do do a lot of my meal prep on the weekends so that during the week everything is nice and easy. Now my family, we are a family of three. Myself who eats vegan, my husband who eats the standard American diet, and my toddler who eats mostly plant-based he does eat eggs, but he has a lot of food allergies, so he's really limited to what he can and cannot eat. So this is going to be a combination of all of our three diets together, and you'll see some of the tweaks that I do. I do not make three separate meals every night, but I do make modifications to fit all of our dietary needs. So I'm actually going to start with dinners. I put 15 lines here but of course you can use more or less depending on what you need if you know that there are specific days that you're eating out or there's a holiday or you already have a meal planned then you don't have to use all of those but I like to do 15 and then the second half of the month I can see what I had doubled and what I have frozen and then what I never made and I could always tack that onto there so I always like to plan a little bit more in the beginning of the month. There's a couple holidays this month that I need to be mindful of and there's also Lent coming up. For my religion we do not eat meat on Fridays which is fine for me but my husband obviously can't eat meat on Fridays so I have to be mindful of that as well. Um, so the first thing I know I want to make for Mardi Gras is going to be po' boys. They're a new Orleans style like sandwich and I think it's usually made with seafood. I'm going to make shrimp for my husband and I'm going to do breaded tofu for myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down. The next like holiday I would say is Dr. Seuss's birthday and I have every year always made green eggs and ham. Now obviously I don't eat eggs, so I make green tofu scramble and vegan ham, but I'm just gonna write down green eggs and ham. Okay, now because I know I'm gonna have some shrimp left over from this meal and some breaded tofu, I'm gonna make bang bang shrimp bowls. Um, obviously I'm not eating shrimp, but bang bang sauce is really easy to throw together. It's just vegan mayo, sweet chili sauce, and sriracha, and I usually serve that over a bed of white rice, and I make like a chili lime slaw to go with it, so bang bang bowls. And then, since I'm already going to have the eggs and the ham from the green eggs and ham, I'm going to try to make um, eggs benedict. Again, I'm eating tofu, but I feel like that'll be a fun breakfast for dinner. And I make a vegan hollandaise sauce. I used to use cashews, but my son is allergic to cashews, so I will be using almonds to replace that, and I'm sure it's gonna work out fine. 
Another thing I've been wanting for a really long time now that's like kind of spring, I really want orange chicken, but I'm gonna do mine with cauliflower. And I know Trader Joe's sells a bag of like already tempura cauliflower, so I think I might get that to make it easy. And I know they have orange chicken, um, like actual chicken, so I might just get a bag of those, make my own vegan orange sauce, and then serve that with some rice and broccoli. So orange chicken. Now, I know I'm gonna need some meatless meals for those Fridays where my husband can't eat meat, so what I'm gonna do is fish tacos. And for him, I will get him some fish. Uh, Trader Joe's has some really nice uh, frozen fish options, so I'm gonna get him some fish, and I'm gonna use the leftover of that tempura cauliflower as my fish, and I'm just gonna make fish tacos with some lime slaw. I also really like the Trader Joe's goddess dressing, like the fresh green one that you could find by the salad bags. That is so good on fish tacos and then like just a slew of salsa and chips and that is so easy. And we could probably eat this more than once. So we'll probably eat that for the two Fridays that we need meatless meals for the first half of the month. So I've done barbecue nachos before, but I think I'm gonna do barbecue fries um, because I do want to throw together another batch of my barbecue chicken, or in my case, barbecue carrot mashed potato bakes for the freezer. So I will have um, a lot of leftover barbecue chicken and barbecue carrots, so that's definitely going to be more than one meal. So I'm going to do the barbecue loaded fries, and then I'm also probably going to plan for the barbecue chicken mash bowls, and we'll just eat a serving of that that night, and then everything left over I will just throw together in the freezer. So those are going to be two really easy barbecue things, and I already have a bunch of barbecue sauce on hand. And for both of these, I'm also gonna make coleslaw, so I'll need slaw for like three different recipes. So none of that cabbage is gonna to go to waste. We will definitely use all of that cabbage. Another thing that I have everything for, I had made a butternut squash soup, and it's not something that I wanna eat now that it's getting a little bit warmer, but I do have a can of coconut milk, so I wanna use the butternut squash soup and the coconut milk, pick up some red lentils and a bag of frozen vegetables, and make some of my African stew. I don't really think it's African. I don't know what it is, but I just call it African stew, and we serve that over rice, and that's like one of the only lentil meals my husband will eat, so I'm definitely gonna make the African stew stew and I usually make them in the crock pot and it turns out to be a really big batch so we could probably eat that twice so that's gonna be one of those things that I'm gonna keep in the back of my head that I'm gonna know I'm gonna have for the second half of the month or even if I really need an easy meal one night I just freeze the rest and then I could pull it out of the freezer one night I have a freezer meal for the Marry Me pasta sauce, and I have a whole bunch of lasagna noodles that I had bought way too many of the oven ready lasagnas for Christmas, so I really need to use up those lasagna noodles. So I'm going to make a Marry Me lasagna. So it's going to be that Marry Me pasta sauce. And I'll probably throw some extra veggies in there or make like a tofu ricotta mixture with spinach just to get a little bit of extra veggie in there. But that sauce I'm gonna make as a freezer meal and just keep it in my freezer. And then whenever we decide that we want that lasagna, I will just pull that sauce out, throw it in my crock pot. It comes so thick and creamy. It uses coconut milk and sun-dried tomatoes. And I think that'll be a really nice fresh spin on lasagna for the springtime. So definitely gonna make that. Now to get on like the easier side of things, um, we're gonna do homemade pizza one night. I don't know what kind yet, but I make my own pizza dough in the bread machine and then whatever we kind of have left over, whatever vegetables, whatever cheese my husband has, whatever vegan cheese I have, whatever sauce, we could do barbecue sauce, buffalo sauce, regular marinara sauce, the leftover marry me sauce might be good. Uh, whatever kind of pizza we want, we could just make a pizza one night and that'll be really easy for a Friday meatless night or just any other, you know, weekend day. 
We will probably do another breakfast for dinner, so I'm gonna write breakfast tacos because we'll probably have some leftover tortillas from the fish tacos and we're probably gonna have leftover breakfast stuff anyway, so we could do some breakfast tacos. Okay, and then to round out this, I am going to write order food because it's inevitable. We're probably gonna order food one day and then leftovers, I'm gonna write twice. I have a tendency to cook a lot and we always have leftovers. So those are gonna be my dinners for the first half of the month. Okay, so as far as breakfast, lunches, and snacks go, uh, those we eat pretty much the same thing all the time. So my husband goes to work, so he packs a lunch every day. So for him, I'm going to always, I always make him peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So PB and J. And then since we're gonna have the ham from the green eggs and ham, I'll probably make him some ham and cheese sandwiches too. Okay, so those are gonna be for him. Now what I do is I make two weeks worth of sandwiches at the beginning of the month and then I freeze them and then I pull them out of the freezer when he needs them in the morning and that just works for us. I've been freezing his sandwiches for years and there's never been a problem. It's always been great and it's really, really easy. I don't have to make him a sandwich in the morning. And yeah, so that's the plan for the two weeks, which is fine. We would probably just need one loaf of bread. As far as me and my son go, he is kind of like a snacky luncher, so sometimes he'll have avocado toast with fruit. He likes mac and cheese. Vegan, of course. And for that, he could have some veggies. He loves cucumbers, broccoli, peas. Uh, another thing we really like is rice and beans. And then I usually eat leftovers. So that takes care of lunches for us. Lunch is always super easy. Uh, snacks, I make my husband homemade granola bars. And I just do peanut butter, honey, oats, and whatever cereal we have lying around. And they come really good every time. So I've been doing that and I think it's been working out great. I only really have to make one batch every two weeks and they last in the refrigerator so that's really good. My son is obsessed with smoothies. So again, I'll make a big batch at the beginning of the week and then I'll divvy it out into tiny little cups and then I will stick that in the freezer and then every day when he wants one I either thaw it in the microwave for like a minute or just let it sit on the counter for like an hour while he's playing and then it's perfect. My toddler's kind of finicky with his muffins so I think I might make some green smoothie muffins for the spring. I'm just feeling like something green and St. Patty's Day is coming up. So I'll make a big batch of muffins and then I'll like pack a couple of them in little bags and then I stick them in the freezer and that too, you could just pull them out and let them thaw for like an hour or you could put them in the microwave for like 10 seconds and they're perfect. So whenever he wants some muffins for a snack, that's perfect. Okay, of course he's a toddler, so crackers, Bamba, those are all his jam. He loves that. I let him eat it, whatever. A lot of the crackers I get for him are pretty healthy, but whatever, he's a kid and he's allergic to everything, so I can't be too picky about what he eats. He eats really healthy. Another thing we love, love, love to snack on here is fruit. My son will eat us out of blueberries and strawberries every week. He eats so many berries, he loves melon, he loves apples, so really any fruit, and I also pack a fruit every day in my husband's lunch as well. Breakfast. So my husband actually does not eat breakfast unless it's the weekend. He doesn't eat breakfast during the week. He just waits for lunch. He eats pretty early for lunch, so I guess that's fine. I'm, I'm a breakfast person, I need to eat breakfast, and my son loves breakfast. So for me, I'll usually have like whatever, either toast or a smoothie or some oatmeal. Um, my son is a little pickier. He really loves the eggy pancakes. And those are just the one banana, two egg, and cinnamon, and you mix that all together and then it like magically creates pancakes. Those are really healthy, a lot of protein to start his day because he does not eat meat. 
Another thing we'll do is like eggs or tofu scramble with potatoes. That's more my type of breakfast. I really like a savory breakfast in the morning. I'm not a super sweet person. Um, so that's really easy. He loves his little shredded hash brown potatoes and he eats eggs pretty well too. I'm going to meal prep myself some vegan uh, breakfast sandwiches. I use the mung bean eggs or I use red lentil eggs that I make myself. I just like pop it in the blender with some seasonings and water until it makes like a nice paste. And then I use a muffin top pan. I have a video on how I make my breakfast sandwiches. I have a muffin top pan that I put them in to make like the little egg patties. Sometimes I'll add salsa in there for flavor. Sometimes I'll add some veggies. And then I use the flat out breads and I put one egg patty on there, a piece of vegan cheese sometimes, and then fold it up and then I'll wrap those in foil and put them in the freezer. And then when I want one, I just pull one out of the freezer and pop it in the microwave for like a minute and a half and it's perfect. So those are really nice to have on hand and it's good to start my day with protein as well. Another really easy quick thing is avocado toast and smoothies. Both me and my son like that, we'll eat that, it's really easy. And then the last thing is oatmeal for myself, cereal for my son. He doesn't really like cereal with milk, so I'll give him more of like a breakfast snack board so I'll put some like dry Cheerios, some fruit, maybe any leftover eggs or potatoes that we have from the week, maybe like a muffin or whatever, and he'll eat that. He's a big snacker so he likes to snack all morning. So that's pretty much the gist of how I do my meal planning. I feel like doing it this way helps me stay on track and use up all the food that I have that I bought from the grocery store so I'm not just collecting things and I'm actually using things up. It helps me stay on my grocery budget and it also helps me reduce how much food waste that I have. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Like I said, I will link the PDF for these down in the description box. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see. Thanks so much for watching as always. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.